Hey guys, we're back. Today we're making a Sicilian pizza. I got my friend Xavier here. Hello. He's not going to help me cook. He's just here for the food. So <laughs> yeah, let's get started. All right, so this sauce is a little different than the last one I showed you. It's a lot more simple, and in my opinion, it tastes 10 times better. This comes from Marcella Hazon's 1976 cookbook. What I did was take a can of tomato sauce. Traditionally, you want to use San Marzano tomatoes, but my store didn't have it, so I'm just using canned tomato sauce, and I added half an onion, and I made sure that I put the cut side down, and some butter. I added some salt, and after sitting for 45 minutes, I discarded the onion, and I added some pepper, some garlic powder, and some oregano. The recipe doesn't call for these three ingredients, but I added them because I can't help myself. And this came out phenomenal. This is my favorite sauce recipe. Now it's time to make some pizza dough. I've shown you guys how to make this before, but just in case you forgot, here's a little bit of a refresher. I'm actually doubling up on the recipe. I first added some sugar and yeast, and then I poured in some lukewarm water. And after sitting for 10 minutes waiting for the yeast to activate, I added some olive oil and some salt, and now goes in our all-purpose flour, or bread flour if you prefer. Now you can use a stand mixer for this, but I prefer to do it by hand. It comes out good either way. And I'm just kneading the dough. I eventually move it from the bowl onto a floured surface, and I knead it for about 10 minutes to let all the gluten develop. And after I'm done kneading, I shape it into a ball, and then I put it in an oiled bowl, and I cover it with some plastic wrap, and I let it sit for about an hour. You can let this go for two hours, or you can just do what I do and make it in the morning and let it sit all day until it's time to make dinner. On a 12 by 20 baking sheet, I'm just putting on some olive oil, and I'm greasing it very, very well. It may seem like a lot, but don't worry. The dough is going to absorb all the oil when it's baking in the oven, and I'm just spreading it out as much as I can. It is going to spring back. Don't worry about this because I'm actually covering it with another baking sheet and I'm letting this sit for another hour. While that's happening, I'm preheating my oven to 550 degrees or as hot as your oven will go. And as you can see, after an hour, this really grew. And because of that, it's a lot easier to work with. So now I'm able to spread it out and it's springing back a little bit because of the olive oil. Again, there's a lot in here. But make sure you spread it out as much as you can, and when it looks like it's done and ready to go, it's time to add your topping. And as you can see, I'm using sliced mozzarella instead of shredded. There's really no reason for me to do this, except that I saw a pizza shop in Brooklyn on television do this, so I figured I'd try it out too. And it worked out really well. And I'm putting the sauce on top of the cheese because I don't want the cheese to burn into the oven. This is going to bake for about 20-25 minutes, so that's a little bit longer than a normal pizza. So yeah, you really don't want that cheese to burn. But after 20 minutes, this came out really, really good. Not only did this pizza taste great, but it cost a lot less than getting it from your local pizzeria. And I'm just cutting this up into 12 decent sized slices. And you can make this for your friends, for your family. This is great for parties. The crust came out thick and crispy. So yeah, go ahead and dig in. Surprise, it's, it's done. You probably saw at the beginning of the video <laughs> that the pizza was already done. I, so now you know that I film my intros and my outros in the same take, so. Yeah. Alright, anyway, you ready to try this thing? Alright, right. cheers. Thank you, good sir. You're welcome. What do you think? Oh, it's very good. Is it? Okay, good. Yeah. <laughs> I, I told him to be brutally honest, like if it tastes terrible, just go ahead and say it. Definitely. But no, it, it is very good. 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 <laughs> no, I'm glad you like it. Alright, guys. I'll see you next time. Remember to like and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed the recipe. See you later. <laughs> Bye. Bye.